everybody, Brad C here. Just had a quick question for the channel. I put my Ruger 1022 in this Ackley's Defense stock, and as you can see, it's way under the 26 inch mark, so I'm just wondering, do I have to SBR this thing? I'm just playing, guys. I'm not, I'm not that crazy. This is actually a barrel from Whistlepig. It's 18 and a half inches, and there is no Ruger 1022 in here. I, I haven't put the, the, the gun in here itself. I'm just playing around. But anyways, uh, this is was, I should say, going to be the gun that I put in here. I planned on selling off the barrel, selling off the stock, and the scope, and whatnot, and hopefully kind of recouping a little bit. But long story short, I found this online used shipped for $199 Ruger 1022 well I get this thing and I can tell by looking at it this is not a regular Ruger 1022 this is one of the Talo exclusives I don't know how familiar you are with Talo exclusives but basically st they start about 350 and start going up now, I don't know exactly what version this is but some of those Talo exclusive versions are rare so I have a new plan now I'm going to find out the exact value of this and maybe keep it maybe sell it I don't know but bottom line this is definitely not going into here backup plan and S&P Outfitters, they're always the go-to company if I'm going to build a Ruger 1022. If you just want to buy, say, the receiver stripped or the parts inside or the trigger or whatever, you know, they got all kinds of OEM parts, and they also have factory blemish parts. Sometimes you can get, and I'm actually getting a factory blemished receiver for this because you won't be able to see it. It'll be hidden in here, and I've got a BX trigger coming, and I've got this barrel from Whistlepig, so, I mean, I really don't need to buy another whole Ruger 1022. Now, I had planned on it, but plans have changed. Now, since I have this Talo, I'm definitely going to do a full review on that. Now, there's another used gun that I got, the Marlin 60, and I have a project with a bullpup stock that I'm going to be featuring on the channel, so I wanted to try it out in that stock and see if it'll work. Okay, guys, I just thought I'd make a short little video and mess with you guys, make you think I did something illegal. To me, that's funny. I'm sorry. It just is, but uh, this is my kind of humor. Now, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. We'll be looking at this Ackley's Defense stock and doing a review on it. And I'm going to tell you right now, spoiler alert, I really was not happy with this stock. I got it used for $170. And to be quite honest, I think $100 is probably the top end of what they should be charging for this. Now, I know I'll probably catch a lot of heat from them and probably people that have paid $300 for this, but I'm sorry. It's a little overpriced. But hey, market determines value, so it is what it is. And I should add, I have actually not tested this in the field so I don't know anything bad to say about it other than just when I got this thing it feels like you know kind of like a toy I mean to be honest it, maybe I'm just being picky on this thing we'll see we'll test it out in the field and I'll let you know make sure you like subscribe and you can check me out at bradctv.com <laughs>